Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have a fiery climax approaches here with expect powerful change okay so new moon eclipse with a full moon in aries so things are finally starting to move here and uh it's not really been quite what it seems okay so there is an illusion that's being revealed triggers emotional baggage is running the show refrain the uh refrain the internal so the external can change with guilt shame and deep remorse over past actions are hindering the situation yeah suddenly uh it feels like a veil's been lifted here and someone's finally realizing the truth uh for overall energy we have the magician here this is as above so below as well as having the tools we need, okay, to be able to accomplish what we want. All right, so your energy this week, we have five of cups, four of wands, and the six of cups. So there's been a lot of disappointment. Uh, possibly this could be around the holidays a little bit for some of you. Uh, thinking of some memories, I see that, uh, and I'm sorry to say this, uh, my heart goes out to you. There are some loved ones that are missed at this time. Uh, and I see that, uh, good news is they're watching over you here. Uh, but you are feeling an energy or a presence where you feel as if, uh, things have just not gone your way. Things seem a little unstable and you feel like, you know, things could be better. Uh, I do see though with the four of wands, there is a sweet surprise in store for you here where, uh, something from the past comes back around or there is a message here from the universe that brings you peace and understanding. Okay, so for their energy, we have Hermit, Six of Swords, King of Cups, and the Page of Swords. So I see that uh, they have been doing some uh, hard work when it comes to uh, really understanding their emotions as well as uh, some things that have kept them stuck for quite a while. A belief system that uh, really kept them going through life but also inhibited them in many ways. And they're seeing now it's almost this enlightenment period that how they are or how they were thinking about uh, life in general and love is not the right way. And because they know this understanding now, it's almost like uh, knowledge is power. They're they're seeing that now that they have this, they're responsible to change. And they're seeing things very different as well as uh, wanting to really dive into their emotions more. They're feeling very overwhelmed for the love that they do have, uh, but feeling guilty that they haven't shown it at all. Tell me the King of Cups, please. Five of Wands. Yeah, they've had this uh, inner conflict, okay, for a long time where they felt... Like, their feelings didn't matter. They shouldn't be feeling anything. Uh, they should just suck everything up. Emotions are uh, nonsensical. There's no reason to deal with them. And it stems from some things or some past traumas that they've been through. Feeling like they couldn't express their emotions. Or when they did, uh, no one really cared about them. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands with ace of cups so i see you did you were the catalyst here you changed their viewpoint on love as well as uh you tugged at their heartstrings like no one else they never really thought that they would see importance in emotions or uh really giving into them right following their heart but you changed their mindset here you got them to see that there is value in uh really getting closer with someone and being vulnerable, opening up. Uh, tell me this Queen of Pentacles. This is quite powerful here. Devil, Eight of Swords. Yeah, you got them to see their own uh, triggers, emotional baggage, things that kept them stuck for a very long time. You got them to see the light of day here. But what I see is during this connection, you had no clue because how they were treating you was kind of all over the place. 
sometimes uh, they could really be in this energy of uh, positivity and then the next minute uh, they're definitely down in the dumps and it felt like they were disinterested in you and this connection and I see a lot of them just not listening to you okay and this frustrated you because you were always there for them and supporting them even when times were hard and I see with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands here, it just stayed in first gear. Nothing really progressed from this situation because this person was unwilling to budge. They had their certain beliefs on love or emotions, feelings, and uh, not seeing that it was important uh, to really give in to love. And uh, some of them feeling like they had already had their mindset that they would never want to commit in their life or they always saw themselves as being a lone wolf in this lifetime. Uh, with the challenge, we have Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Four of Cups. So for some of them, if they are in a committed situation or they've uh, been in one before, it's kind of like they got stuck in it. You know, circumstances led them to it and it's not something that they really cared about. But you got them to see that it is important. That's something that they really desire now. And I see you with the Wheel of Fortune. It did seem like a roller coaster, a rocky one, right? Because from one minute to the next, you weren't sure if this person was actually going to get up and leave. If they were just done with this uh, situation. But I see in the Four of Cups, there's a lot of emotional uh, trauma or baggage. Things being held behind the scenes uh, and given into almost like a feeding uh, situation where they really felt like, like, no, that's what I know. That's what I'm comfortable in. I'm not going to trust love. I'm not going to trust my emotions because it gets me nowhere. It only gets me hurt. No one really cares about that anyways. Nobody cares about my feelings. Uh, but how they come off is uh, they push emotions away. If they feel deeply for you, they definitely reject you more. And when things get a little too deep or they start feeling very connected to you, they definitely detach. I do see in the Ten of Cups, they might have been stuck in a situation as well uh, that they were feeling forced or that felt like they had to be in, okay? Uh, but they didn't really see love and uh, relationships as something to be desired, but you really did take them by surprise here. But I see that they couldn't detach. And so you were very curious, like, why were they playing some games here? Why were they staying stuck in this? Why didn't they just walk away? Uh, because I see for some of you, this has been a long time you've been in this situation with them. Without getting any clarity or understanding after such a long period of time. Uh, come with the Four of Cups, please. We have Judgments. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they were unwilling to see another point of view or to step out of that comfort zone. So even though it made them unhappy to feel this way, to give into some past trauma, they felt comfortable in it and it was something safe. And now you made them see that it's okay to uh, address that and want to you know, take a risk and follow your heart and give in to something that is risky. Uh, tell me the Wheel of Fortune. Seven of Cups lovers, yeah, a lot of confusion here because nothing was revealed. You weren't really being told how they truly felt. And if they did, it, it was very surface level. It was just kind of trying to keep you in the situation because they couldn't let go of you by any means. This person was not going to let go, but at the same time, they were not going to give in to it and the feelings that they had. So let's see what they're about to do here because I see in the current moment... Uh, they feel better, more at peace, understanding, and seeing things a different way. We have the Ace of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So we have a very important uh, conversation coming. Something that is going to alter this connection uh, and the future of it. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, though, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.